the future has arrived. Or at least its prototype has. The air car took its first intercity journey in Slovakia, from the city of Nitra to the capital Bratislava. A 35-minute flight in a car that, at the click of a button, can transform into an aircraft in just 2 minutes and 15 seconds. In the air, it can reach 190 kilometers an hour and carry two people with a combined weight of 200 kilos. It's great that the legislation allowed something like this to go from a virtual location to the real one. This is our goal, to create a real product that you will be able to buy one day. While this flight represents a milestone in this niche market, it isn't the only prototype in town. And it needs a runway to take off and land, unlike the competition. The next generation of sport. Other models, such as the Airspeeder, have also conducted initial tests. This one in a desert in Australia earlier in June. Airspeeder's first flying car racing Then series. there's Russia's Hover Taxi, a flying taxi service that got its first showing in January in a stadium. It won't need runways. The inventor says it'll be able to fly in and out of tight parking spaces and can carry a combined load of 300 kilos. Perfect for the weekly shop, perhaps. But with the technology taking off, there is the question of exactly how they will fit into today's world. I'm slightly sceptical about it. Um, you know, airspaces in much of the world are very crowded. You've got strict air regulations, air traffic control. Um, airport, a lot of airports are pretty much at capacity already. Flying cars may be a staple in films depicting dystopian futures, where traffic jams would still be a problem. These prototypes have shown that the stuff of fantasy is now within reach. But maybe not quite how we imagined it. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera.